How's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be playing some Awilix. Uh, You know, we've been playing a lot of Guardians. Guardians are my specialty for anyone uh, new to the channel. Uh, but however, Awilix is one of the few gods that I play that are not Guardians that I feel like, uh, you know, I have have some input on and we are up against get sticker i have never seen get sticker well that's untrue i i usually see get get sticker playing mercury but he's not playing mercury here um let's get blink but yeah i i usually play guardians but a uh, no I, I i can play her Ooh, i'm tempted to go bumba's hammer for the late game uh yeah let's do that because i think if this game comes down to anything it's going to be the late game so uh, Get Sticker does apparently have Kokokin Diamond. Uh, I, I, it's my understanding that he mostly played Mercury. I think I saw him play Mujang Kui one time as well, but I really don't know outside of that. Um, Get Sticker is kind of known for playing PVE Mercury, unfortunately. But yeah, I have a I have a montage on Willix, and also I have a. I have a video where I was in a Rexy tournament and I was playing a Wilix and a lot of people said they really liked my Wilix and that. Uh, we're not going to go for red buff, by the way. Uh, we just don't have enough uh, enough clear, I feel like. If we get to lane second to Kokokin, we just lose all of our health. Alright, now we go for this. He is going Bumba's Hammer, so it's probably a good thing we're going Bumba's Hammer. Bumba's Hammer Kokokin is insane late game, like very good. It's kind of unstoppable, actually, uh, because of how fast he gets his 1 and 2 back. So, we either need to beat him before that, or we fight him with our with our own uh, Bumbas. So, he tried clearing the wave with his 3, but he doesn't have the enough power to actually do that yet, which is interesting. We're going to try to stop him here. He does have his ultimate. Uh, where on earth did he go? Did he just recall? Oh no, he went for my speed. Ah, yep. It's kind of annoying, but hey. In fact, I'm going to leave this wave a little bit early to go do his speed buff. Uh, just to make things even. Can't let him get ahead on buffs uh, this early, you know? We cannot afford Transcendence yet, so we're going to wait on that. Uh, him having that tier, tier 1 Bumbas actually helps him out uh, tremendously. Get the ult off. Good stuff. Uh, one thing you should always do in a Willix is don't leap if you don't have to. I got on Suku to get closer to him with the movement speed. Uh, but I didn't leap because if I leaped and missed, uh, he would, of course, be able to get away. And I'd have no way to chase him down. A Wilkes one is so easy to juke. So I just right-clicked, canceled it, and walked up to him. He uh, got a little bit farther away, so then I just got on Suku again. You can't really do that if you're low on mana. Also, let's get this timer. Can't really do that if you're low on mana, but, I mean, it's pretty good for chasing gods down. Especially if they don't have a leap. Um, the only time you should leap is if you're running away and they're about to hit you with, like, a big ability. Otherwise, you want to have your leap up constantly. His autos are actually hitting pretty hard. Let's bait out his... Yep, his whirlwind. Cool. He's super dead once this is over. Just walk up to him. Use my auto attack. He's dead. I could have died there. Uh, I didn't think he would actually be able to get that off, but he did. Um, Alright, let's back up. Yeah, I'm recording this at like midnight tonight because uh, I wanted to record it the day before I upload it just to keep try to stay ahead. Uh, let's see, what can we go here? Probably a breast... No, not breastplate. Uh, Genji's. Oh my goodness, imagine if I built breastplate. <laughs> Genji sounds great here. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, like you saw for the first blood, that was a while ago. But, uh, the, you know, the blink knock up behind them. Kind of missed for saying that. Very good against gods that don't have leaps. Very worth it. Uh, your opponent, even if they have, like, perfect reaction time sometimes, uh, just because the way uh, the delay and lag works, they cannot respond in time sometimes. Uh, obviously, if you miss, it's it sucks, but, you know, what are you going to do, right? We're going to come over here and stop him. I think I can stay here longer than he can stay here. Obviously, I don't have ages, though. That's fine. Yep, that, we're just being very patient. What a weird engagement, right? Just being very, very patient. I didn't really have much to say because I was just having to pay attention to where he went and play around that. Uh, once he committed to the red buff, he was kind of in a position where, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, he's going to ult it, but I can just dodge it and then kill him afterwards, right? And, I mean, I'm tanky enough where if he threw down a whirlwind, I don't have to completely... Or Did I say I'm tanky enough? Yeah, I'm tanky enough where if he throws out a whirlwind... I don't have to completely disengage because I can just commit to him through it. And that's kind of what ha ended up happening towards the end there. Uh, let's continue getting items. Looks like he is getting a Breastplate of Valor. Now here we could get like a, let's say maybe, what kind of pet item? I would say Brawlers against someone with healing, but he doesn't have healing. However, we know he's going into Bumba's Hammer. Bumba's Hammer gives a ton of healing. And Brawler's Beat Stick gives really good base stats. So I'm actually not against uh, building Brawlers here. Like this early on. Just just for the base stats and the fact that it's going to help us a tremendously late game. So, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Don't know where he is. Just trying to keep control of my buffs right now. I do know if he gets a late game, it's going to be very problematic for me. Okay, right there he is. Let me try to get a blink kill here. Save my two for a few ults. Good stuff. Yeah, I don't have ages, so I kind of have to use my two for immunity. And as long as I'm more patient than him, we should be able to kill him. Obviously, if he doesn't ult, I have to use my two eventually to secure the kill, or I have to back off. Like, if he didn't ult there at all, it would have been very unsafe to use my two. Uh, you know, and I w don't know if I would be able to get the kill. The Genji's also helped tremendously there uh, with the tower dive, which was awesome. Let's get out. We really don't want to die. Yeah, I'm going to build Brawlers. And now we can get either Thorns, or we can get Aegis. Um, because he's going Bumba's Hammer, I almost like the Thorns more. It's a little bit crazy, because normally against Kukulkan I go uh, Aegis. But my my thinking is that late game, if he's spamming his abilities and he's having to hit me with these autos, and I pop Thorns, and he's like medium health, that becomes dangerous for him. Whereas if I went Aegis, he just waits it, and then all of a sudden he's still kidding me f for a ton, right? Plus he's not going to build magical def defense, so it's going to hit pretty hard. Uh, yeah, so so Thorns works as well as Aegis here, uh, as long as, you know, I'm still careful about his ult. I do have a way out of it, my 2 and my uh, 1. If I was a character without that, then I'd probably go only to Aegis here. Can't really attack uh, Tower yet. That's okay. I don't think there's any parts on this map where I can get sneaky knockups, like maybe here, but I doubt it. Oh, 
Oh, he yelled at the wave, damn it, dude. He yelled at the wave. Still amazing kill. That was so cool. Even if he yelled at the wave, that was awesome. Alright, let's go get red buff. We're pretty far ahead at this point, but you know. Still gotta still gotta play play the game out. We do not want to underestimate his late game. Get Sicker is a good player. We'll never, you know, I'm never going to say Gitstick is not good at the game, but I mean, his his Mercury is very PvE. Very, very PvE, okay? Like, frustratingly PvE. Uh, okay, I'm going to go Hydras. Yeah, I had a game, uh, like, what, one and a half seasons ago or so, where I was against him, and I was Ymir, and basically he was just running around taking Demon King, taking buffs, would not fight me. And then another one where I was Kuzumbo, and the same thing happened. We are going to go into a Hydra slash Heartseeker. I think Heartseeker could be good because of the percent pen, plus uh, Bumbus Hammer gives a lot of health. And I mean, it's just a good item overall, even if your opponent's kind of squishy. I'm kind of building more for the late game than right now because, I mean, honestly, his respawn timer is so short, so as long as he throws down a Tornado, I'm never going to be able to take anything. Um, he does have beads. He really hasn't been using it. If he wants to play back, that's perfectly fine. I am happy to be taking these buffs and stuff. If he wants to find, fight me, that's perfectly fine too. I will take either. Uh, let's refresh this ward. Having these wards up is pretty helpful. I don't know. Hydra sounds good, but I, I kind of am leaning toward more towards Heartseeker, actually. There's the Polly, kind of expected. Uh, she, he doesn't really have penetration right now. Okay, that's good. Got his beads. Always worth trading uh, Blink for Beats. Whoa, I am lagging tremendously all of a sudden. Whoa. All right, calm. Careful. <laughs> I think it's the servers, but it might be on my side. That's okay. Ooh, that hit me. I feel like that shouldn't have. You want to try to delay his back. Because if we delay his back, we will be able to get... Uh, tower here damn my three does too much damage where I can't feather step after two auto attacks <laughs> good we get tower it's always a win Let's be careful. I'm, I'm fighting a little bit dangerously here. Good stuff. Yeah, the thorns was the right pickup. Uh, I played that a little bit sloppy, but we got the kill because, you know, we're still ahead. All right. Is he getting bubble? I, if he gets bubble, that's fine for me. Uh, right now, yes, I'm getting a lot of kills with the knockups, but if I don't hit the knockup, I mean, I can still ult. Um, against Kokokin, I'm almost tempted to go Hasten Katana, just to stick to him, you know, pop thorns, what can he do? What can he really do if I pop my ult, blink next to him, and then Hasten Katana away? If he uses his tornado, he starts dying. If he uses his ultimate, he'll die. I'm actually knockupping me to my ult as well. So yeah, no, that actually works out really well. Uh, I think that should be our next item. He is getting double defense, so that opens up the door to me if I want to get double defense. I don't think I need it. Uh, I consider this matchup to be an even matchup. Oh, this could be a really nice pick. We're not going to leap, because if we leap, he might get away. That almost went badly. Whew. 
I almost dropped that. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, hasten. What was I talking about? I, I, I lost my train of thought because I was, uh, you know, I saw my red buff. I thought I could get a, a pick there. Um, yeah, I, I don't quite remember. I know I was talking about how maybe I could get double defense, but, uh, decide I'm probably not going to. I don't think I need it. Hmm. Yeah, if, I kind of want to dive in here because of how low he is. Okay, I got his I got his beads, that's the important part. Got his beads, it's all that matters. If he chases me here, I think that's a bad idea for him because I have my thorns up. Good stuff. Oh shoot. Clear the wave. Clear the wave because I'm gonna die. Can't reach me, good. Ooh, that was scary. I might I might need double defense, man. He has no pen. Like I don't Oh, that, that's what I was good talking about. I consider this matchup to be pretty even. And I mean when I do get double defense, it's usually only when I'm in a matchup that I'm at a disadvantage. Uh but I think this matchup is pretty fair. However, he, this dude's not even building any penetration. If he's not going to build penetration, then the way to counter and punish that build, if you're not going to go penetration, is double defense. I mean, I've got flat pen and percent pen. So just things to think about. He did take my speed. He also is going to get Bumpus Hammer right now. And that's what I should be saving up for as well. But I actually think Pinky's Katana might help me more. We cannot fight him. We cannot fight him uh, for now. He's going to want to fight me, and he's going to make it seem like he's vulnerable, but I'm not going to fall for it. Unless I can get a blink. Unless I can get a blink, then maybe. Yeah, look at that Bumba's hammer. Let's finish Hasten. Last item, I think Bumba's is still a good idea. It'll give us health. Uh, that'll probably be enough so I don't get blown up. His beats is down. Yeah, that Hazen Katana helps out so much. Like, what can he do? That's so good. Good stuff. He also got horrific. Ooh. I think it's fine for us, but uh, my ult gives slow immunity. So it's not the end of the world. If I wanted Wing Blade, you know. But uh, I'd rather get a finished starter item. Ooh, but can I take this, though? I'll use my one just so I can get closer to the Phoenix. Oh, but it's targeting me. Oh, that was... That actually sucks. I can still take it, but... I need to get at him. Let's place a ward to know if he's chasing me or not. If he's not, I will go for red. If he is, then we run away. Yeah, he's chasing me. We will not give him the opportunity. He still hasn't finished this item. I feel like he bought it forever ago. Alright, let's back. Okay, Bumba's... I mean, I could probably go... There's there's a variety of items I could go. I could go Wing Blade. I could go Bumbas. Uh, if I wanted more auto attack, I could go, you know, Executioner, Hydras. I mean, I wouldn't recommend Frostbound here, if only because we already have Hastened. And Kukulkin has uh, slow immunity for the first few seconds of his two. Uh, but, I mean, Frostbound actually works pretty well in Wilkes. I don't like building it. I don't like Frostbound as an item. I think it's a very unfun item. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that, that is a possibility you could go on a Wilkes and Duel. He went Mantle. You are a tanky boy. You are a very tanky boy. 198 physical protections. Damn, dude. <laughs> Ooh, these fights are so fun, though. 
I'm seven to zero, so it's like it's kind of a stomp. But at the same time, he got to level twenty around the same time I did. He's he's not that far behind build wise, and I mean the fights are cool. Okay, so you know. All right, let's get this. Uh, last thing we need is power potion slash red puff, and we're good to go. How much power does he have by any chance? Not that much, surprisingly, or not surprisingly, depending on how you look at it. This is bad. I don't want to fight him anymore. Never mind. Holy moly, that Bumba's hammer, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's gonna get my Phoenix. Because he has minions. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Go, go, go. Maybe he won't get it. Maybe he won't. Now he's kind of out of position with his, without his ultimate as well. Oh, he's going for that. Is he going to go for that red buff? No, he's not. He is waiting gear though. All right, I do get red buff. This is pretty worth. Oh. He stopped his recall. Or no, my ward ran out. Never mind. Wow, he really is, does not like penetration, does he? Oh, man. I kind of wish my blink was still up, but oh well. Also, leaping on him is not terrible now that I have Bumbo's Hammer. Because I, I get it back pretty fast. Like... Well, maybe not that fast. <gasps> the mantle of discord, what? <laughs> The mantle of discord stunned me, man. All right, I'm going to swap something. Let's swap. How much health do you have? I'm going to swap at this point with the Bumba's hammer. I think swapping hastened for a wing blade. Because this dude does not have any penetration. If you're not going to go pan, you know, and what's the point? Ooh, he's doing quite a bit of damage to my Titan. Is he going to get the kill before I can even spawn? Well, you know what? Sometimes that happens. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it happens where you have seven kills and you die to one death. And well, it happens, but hey, I'm okay with it. Uh, for the most part, if I'm being quite honest on this map, it happens a lot less than the, than the old map. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's okay. I uh, appreciate you guys watching and let me know what other gods you want to see and I'll see you guys next time.